This tutorial is an introduction to the Graph Editor window and to interpolation modes. Before I look at the Graph Editor, I'm going to quickly set up two keyframes. I'm going to set the total length of the animation to 50 frames. I'm going to go to frame 1, make change, drag on the tip of the green arrow to move the cube, insert keyframe, click the object button, and right click on the Y location, insert single keyframe, go to frame 50, make change, drag on the tip of the green arrow, insert keyframe, right click, insert single keyframe, play and Blender interpolates between the two keyframes. Drag on the white diagonal lines to open up a new window. Change the window type to Graph Editor. Zoom back with the mouse wheel. Now we have a function curve that represents the location of the cube over time. The vertical axis is the Y location measured in Blender units and the horizontal axis is time measured in frames. In the key menu you can change the interpolation mode if you click the plus to view the properties panel, you can change the interpolation mode here. Linear is the simplest interpolation mode. The cube moves at a constant speed. It's a very simple calculation. Blender takes the total distance and divides it by the number of frames and moves the cube by that amount each frame. The default interpolation mode is Bezier. Using Bezier curves is the most common method of representing curves in vector graphics. By default, Blender gives this shape curve. If I grab the handles to exaggerate the shape, rather than suddenly starting and suddenly stopping, Blender gives a period of acceleration at the beginning and deceleration at the end. We can add a point anywhere along the curve. If I go to frame 24 in the key menu, insert keyframes, only selected channels, grab a handle to alter the curve, rewind and play. We can move points by dragging and we can delete points by pressing the delete key or X on the keyboard. Sometimes you'll want linear, sometimes you'll want a Bezier curve. There is a third option, constant, where there is no interpolation, just sudden change. I'm going to end this introduction to interpolation modes and the graph editor there. For more tutorials and resources, go to my website www.freemovies.co.uk at the Blender channel there. Thanks for watching and goodbye.